Hi, my Yarniacs. This is Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. And once again, we are back for Vlogist on the Cheap. Today is the 2D 3rd. The 23rd day of August. It's gone so fast. I can't believe it. We only have one week left to go. And like last time Sandy and I did a gift exchange, I'm going to be sad to see it go, but I'm not going to go there yet because I still have a week left. Yay! We still have a week left. Sandy Clark from Crochet 8 Canada is a wonderful, wonderful individual with whom I, lo whom I love very much, and I love to share things with her, and this is one of the really fun things we've done. Now, as I said, we did it previously this year. It was supposed to be for Christmas last year, but... The mail, the post people didn't let that happen, so we did it in January. Now, this is the end of August, so I'm thinking I'd better get this year's Christmas stuff in the mail in September so that it gets there for Christmas. <laughs> um, this is oh, all the gifts on this gift exchange, vlog this on the cheap, are from the dollar store. Now, I have to say something about yesterday's gift. Yesterday's gift was this chicken cooker, this barbecue chicken cooker. And it says, instructions for beer can chicken. And Oh, I'm crooked again, aren't I? Oh, uh oh, this is gonna not work out. Sit, stay. Eh. Might be better than might not. I had never heard of beer can chicken. Well, evidently, I'm the only one in the world because all the comments that came about this video and about beer can chicken extolled its virtues, say it's wonderful, and even Mr. Wright had heard of it. And I'd never, I didn't know. And yes, you do open a can of beer, but um, you, you open the can of beer and, and leave the beer in the can. And evidently, when it cooks up, it makes the chicken all moist and delicious and wonderful. Now, some people said to only have half a can of beer in there. Now, for like I said, we don't drink beer, so we'd have to pour half of it out. <laughs> Seems like a waste of beer, though, doesn't it? For those of you who like beer. But in any event, like I say, I'm the only one in the world that didn't know about beer can chicken. And so now we'll have to try it, because I think that's a luscious. Sounds luscious. Everybody says it's just delicious, so. We shall investigate. So, on to today's gift on the 2D3rd. It's long and narrow and sturdy. Yeah, it is. So we'll see. It's about that long. And about that wide with a with something there. I don't know. I guess the only way to tell us open it, right? So excuse the rustling, we are now going to open. What are you, what in the world? <laughs> it's a bottle opener. However, it is an antler bottle opener. That says Canada upon it. And as you know, I'm all about anything that says Canada. Souvenirs. Well, it doesn't say. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Canadian antler bottle opener made in China. Dollarama, Montreal, Quebec, made in China. <laughs> That's what it says. Well, I now have a genuine antler bottle opener. Sandy, that's so cool. Thank you so much, Sandy. This is wonderful. And like I said, anything with Canada on it, I love. Yeah, the, and it's got a little rawhide strap there so you can hang it in your bar and be ready for grabbing and popping open the bottles. For those bottles that still require popping 
Have you ever tried to unscrew one that does require? <laughs> I can't, um, yeah, we, I've been there, done it. So that explains the long and narrow with the pointy thing. <laughs> See, that makes it a perfect grip, left or right-handed. Yep, you just right down to the antler and oh, there you go. Actually, you know what? I know this whole thing is called an antler, but I don't know if the, are they called nubbins? Is there a, is there a term for those? Oh, no, well, I'm too low now. Son of a gun. I can't get this right. One of these days I'm going to adjust that. It's going to fall down completely. So I'm very thrilled with my Canada church key. <laughs> I wonder who started calling these things church keys. Obviously, it was a very tongue-in-cheek comment. Yeah, very clever, very clever. So let's see, that's today's the 2D third. So we got 24th is <laughs> obviously tomorrow. So that is one week tomorrow. Well, I should, have, I should have seven gifts left in there, in the box. And I'm wondering if I counted right for the gifts that Sandy has left. He's right. Counted right for the, never mind. It's much too involved and there's no point in going there because it makes no sense at all. So that's it for today. The dogs are fine. I'm fine. Mr. Wright's fine. The weather is gorgeous. It's not too hot, not too cold. And I have no complaints. So we will talk to you tomorrow. I love you. Sandy, go see Sandy Clark, Crochet A Canada. Link is to her page is down below in my description box. She's got the playlist for all of the vloggers on the cheap videos on her channel. So if you haven't seen some or seen them all, go over there, wander through them all. If you aren't subscribed to Sandy, please do. Because she's just amazing. And she makes wearables like nobody's business. She just, and she doesn't have a pattern. She just does it. It's like, wow. Impressive. Very impressive. Anyway, Sandy, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you so much. I love you all. Take care of yourself. Be good to yourself. Cut yourself some sex. Hugs, big, warm, squishy hugs for me and the gang. And, oops, where'd you go? There he is. Prince Andy, the frog, and Rubber Ducky, Canadian, Rubber Ducky, and we will see you tomorrow. Crochet away, my darlings. Bye-bye. Oh, I almost lost it, didn't I? Yeah, I almost went over. <laughs>